we cannot even imagine how exciting it would be to be a Christian if we were fully committed to loving God with all of our hearts and fully committed to helping every other person as much as we possibly can. You know what happens? You get your mind off yourself. And when you don't have your mind on yourself, amazing, you get happy. All of a sudden, it's not like me, 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 me. You just trust God to take care of you while you're taking care of somebody else. How much do we actually do for others? A hard heart is often a deceived heart. This seed that was sown and fell by the wayside very often falls on hard hearts. The Bible tells us in Acts 28 that there are many people who, who hear but they don't grasp it. They see but they don't get it. Their hearts are hard. And you know, if I took, ground, if I took seed out and sprinkled it on some really hard ground, it wouldn't go in. It couldn't produce anything because it wouldn't go in. So it's very, very important that we maintain a tender heart toward God. And one of the ways that I think our hearts can become tender is, of course, being in an atmosphere like this, hearing the beautiful Word of God, fellowshipping with Jesus, worshiping God. But I believe one of the ways that our hearts can be tenderized is by really getting around needy people and, and seeing the conditions in some people, man, you want to get thankful? You go stand in a trash dump in Cambodia where kids are living out of the garbage every day because they have nothing to eat. You won't come home and complain because your air conditioning is not working. But you know what we do a lot of times? We isolate ourselves from that kind of stuff because it's not pleasant. It's more blessed to give than to receive. <laughs>